Mikhailo Mudrik has signed for Chelsea for 88.5 million, but he is struggling with form and has been dropped to the bench. Today, we will be playing through his entire eight-year contract to see if we can turn him into a Chelsea legend and the best player in the world. And here is Mudrik, Chelsea's number 10, holding up his shirt and currently a 75 rated overall in this first season. Currently a rotation player for Chelsea, looking to make an impact off of the bench in this first season, but he will need to impress the boss and put in some good performances. Now, here we are with his first half a season out of the way. We're into January now. We've gone up two stat points. Our overall is now 77 and uh, he's got three goals and one assist so far in the first half of the season. Like we said two stat points up looking pretty good and this tally up the top is his goals and assists for the entire career the entire eight years we'll be keeping track of that as we go along now first half of the season seventh in the premier division with chelsea not quite the start we wanted but we did make the semi-finals of the carabao cup so we'll have to see if we can make it to the final of that by the end of this season can mudrick make an impact from the bench from the remainder of the season getting his chances as a substitute needing to win a trophy and fill up this trophy cabinet as much as possible and maybe even win himself a Ballon d'Or. Now we arrive at the end of the first season. We got our stat points up to 78, which is plus three on his original markings. And we've scored 10 goals in total this season with five assists as well. So that's not a bad start. Not a bad first season for Mudrik playing on the left wing behind Sterling off the bench at the moment. And we finished fourth in the Premier Division with 68 points. So we have qualified for the Champions League, which is a really good start to our first season. We didn't quite make the FA Cup final. And uh, we're looking into the Carabao Cup as well. We got knocked out by Manchester City in the semi-finals and uh, they went on and won 2-1 in the finals that was a pretty huge loss as well so no wins this season in this first season but Hyung Min Son here topping the goal scorers and the assists as well this man very well played from him the end of the first season here sees us with no trophies a fourth place finish in the Premier League but we too qualify for the Champions League now heading into season two we have a meeting with the Chelsea boss here where he wants to discuss our playing time he wants to improve us from a rotation player to an important player. So Mudrik here getting the opportunity to start the second season off as an important player in this Chelsea squad, taking over Sterling's place on the left wing and hopefully going to be able to prove himself up there as a main Chelsea threat. And we're going to be heading into the second season's first game here just to show you what Mudrik can do. He starts this one and he gets the game's only goal and the game winning goal to give Chelsea their first three points of the Premier League season. And as you can see, we've made it through to January now. He's made 24 appearances total. He's gone up one stat point to 79 overall, and he's made 17 appearances in the Premier League, scoring two goals and getting two assists so far this season. Now, looking at the league table, we're currently sitting in eighth place, which is not good once again. Hopefully, this can improve before the end of the season. We didn't make the Carabao Cup. We got knocked out by Spurs in the third round. And as for the Champions League, we made it into the round of 16 against Juventus, topping our group with 16 points, not getting a single loss in the Champions League, which is really good to see. And Mujic here towards the end of the second season getting a total of 52 appearances but only four goals and five assists going up to an 81 rated and our current season statistics for the entire career is 14 goals and 10 assists so that's not too bad at all we ended up finishing seventh in the league which is not good which means we miss out on Europe and that's not ideal for this career for Mudrik but we do miss out on the Carabao Cup but we do make it to the Emirates FA Cup final against the Newcastle United so Mudrik's chance for his first First trophy getting knocked out of the Champions League quarterfinals there. Here is the lineup for this FA Cup final. Not a bad looking Chelsea lineup. A couple of great players in there. This team definitely needs some improvement but we're going to be playing here at Wembley Stadium for this game against Newcastle. And a ball in here from Mudrik and a header from Nkunku and we take the early lead to go 1-0 up. A really great team performance here. Mudrik cutting inside from the left wing now. Laying it to Nkunku who lays it back to Mudrik. Mudrik with the shot. Puts it in the back of the net and it is 2-0 in this game. Mudrik and Nkunku really really lighting up the game in this one. A nice bit of play on the edge of the box there, laying it through, and it's a chance for Manduke who goes and scores the third goal in this game, and it looks like we're gonna be winning this one. We end up getting a 3-1 victory, and Amron's goal not enough to score for them, and our first trophy for Mudrik in this career, coming in the second season, it is the FA Cup to put in his trophy cabinet. We ended up finishing the Premier League season seventh, but we did qualify for the Europa League because we won the FA Cup, which is really good to see, and Liverpool ended up winning the Champions Champions League against Bayern Munich in this season. And here we are, heading into season three. 
And we got part, we got, we got to take part in the uh, Community Shield, but we lost that one to Arsenal. We're back in training, we're working hard, ready for the Premier League season to get underway, as well as the Europa League season. We got SC Braga, Dynamo Zarburg, and FC Basel in the group stages. We're currently sitting in here with Gavi joining the ranks in this Chelsea squad with an 81 overall for Mujic. And we have arrived now into January 2026, where we've done pretty well. We've only got two goals and three assists so far this season, so not the greatest season in terms of uh, goal scoring but we have gone up one overall so far with 82 and we've made it to the preliminary rounds of the Europa League against Dortmund after coming second in Group A in the Europa League with 11 points so that's not too bad we're currently sitting third in the Premier League halfway through the second season and somehow Spurs are sitting top of this one hope they don't end up winning it and here we are with the semi-final in the Carabao Cup we've got to take on Spurs and as you can see on aggregate we did win 3-2 so we are into the finals of the Carabao Cup in our third season a chance to beat Manchester United here and uh, progress on with our second trophy of this career out of our eight season contract we've got here at Chelsea we're into the third season now and we're looking for a victory in at this Carabao Cup final against Manchester United can we get a goal here with Ziyech he takes a shot there goalkeeper makes a great save but Mudrick's pushing forward lays it through to Gavi the new signing for Chelsea and he goes and puts it in the back of the net making it 1-0 in this game and the game actually ends up finishing as a 1-1 draw I believe and we're going to be heading in to a penalty shootout after extra time to see who can win this Carabao Cup. It's a Bruno Fernandes stepping up for the first penalty. He puts it straight down the middle and into the back of the net. Enzo Fernandes shooting there, but Onana making a great save. Another shot here from Kessie of Manchester United putting it in the back of the net and Sterling netting his goal as well. Hoyland there putting his one in and we've got Ziyech now to get his as well just under Onana. Sancho missing his chance. And a chance here now for Chelsea, who make it another one. It's currently 3-3 on the score. Now Manchester United have taken a small lead, but Chelsea look to get this one back here. And it's back level once again. Number seven now stepping up. Mount putting it in against his old team. And Onana looking to save it against Mudrik. We are ready to take our own penalty. The nerves are pumping. Can Mudrik score? His opportunity to keep Chelsea in this penalty shootout. Yes, he does. Mudrik there getting his goal. And it is 5-5 on this penalty scoreline. Lindelof here stepping up for Manchester United. And putting it in the back of the net as well. What a tense penalty shootout. And Gallagher there keeping his call cool and putting it in the side of the net. And a miss from the Manchester United player means if we score this goal, the new signing, Gavi, who scored the goal early on in the game to win it for Chelsea. We have gone and won the Carabao Cup in our third season as Mikhailo Mudrik. What a game that was. What a penalty shootout it ended up being. Mudrik there even managing to score a penalty in the shootout. And we're going to be stepping up to claim our trophy here. Our second trophy of this Chelsea career. And a very nice way to add another another trophy to his locker. He's currently got an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup. We're missing a Champions League. We're missing the Premier League. And we're currently sitting second in the table. But Spurs ended up winning the league. Can you believe it? And the final of the FA Cup goes to Manchester City and Huddersfield. And uh, as you can see from the preliminary rounds, we actually got thrashed by Dortmund. So we won't be going anywhere in the Europa League this season. But we do have Champions League football next season, which is really good to know. Now, Mudrik's here in the end of this season. And he's got 80 three overall he's got 27 goals total for Chelsea so far and 18 assists ended up scoring 12 goals and getting seven assists in all competitions not a bad start to his Chelsea career three seasons in we ended up this third season in second place there winning the Carabao Cup getting knocked out of the other cups and we are moving into season four now and we are back in the Champions League Chelsea against Bayern Munich Real Sociedad and Dynamo Kiev we're currently sitting top of the Premier League table come January with Liverpool Arsenal and West Ham in second third and fourth and we have a really good chance of winning the Premier League this season currently in some really good form now halfway through the season we're into the semi uh, we're not into the semi-finals of the Carabao Cup we got knocked out in the fourth round by West Ham and as for the Champions League group we finished third behind Sociedad and Bayern Munich which means we get knocked into the preliminary rounds of the Europa League against Fenerbahce hopefully we can do well in there come the end of the season now Mudrik here playing 26 times so far in the first half of the season scoring seven goals and getting one assist knocking his tally up to 34 goals and putting his rating up to 85 so he's progressing really really well he's up to an 85 rated hopefully we can get him right up to the top of his game and the season ending with us with one game remaining and we are on 79 points 
With Liverpool in front of us on 80 points, can we win our final game of the season? And we've also made it into the finals of the FA Cup for another chance to win an FA Cup. Now, the Europa League, we didn't make it. We got knocked out by Seville on penalties after a dramatic couple of games. And uh, you can see Mudrik here playing 54 games total this season, scoring 14 goals and getting six assists with a really good total amount of goals as well. 86 overall coming to the end of his fourth season. We've got a really important Premier League game coming up, and it's going to be a really tough one. We've got a left mid. Look at him there. 86 rated. Maduke and Kanku, all really good. But we've got this huge game against Manchester City coming up. It's away from home. It's the final day of the Premier League season. We win this, and we win the Premier League if Liverpool falter. And we scored an early goal here with Nkanku. And guys, can that be the winning goal? We've come to the final whistle. And we've actually gone and won the game. And you can see the players celebrating down there. It can only mean one thing. We have won the Premier League. Who would have thought Liverpool ended up losing their game and we won the Premier League on goal difference, I think, or with two points up, I'm not sure. But we lift the Premier League title for the first time in our career and we've gone and added another trophy to the cabinet. As you can see here, adding the Premier League in there as well as the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup, slowly adding to his cabinet. Mudrik here looking to get another one, another FA Cup, if we can do it here against Manchester City once again. And a couple of days later, laying it through to Nkunku to get an assist. Nkunku getting the goal. And we have gone and drawn level here after going 1-0 down. It is 1-1 on the scoreline. But the 90th minute whistle blows. And if you can see up on the scoreboard there, Manchester City won 2-1. And they ended up taking the FA Cup home after extra time. So we don't get another FA Cup in this career so far. Season 4 has ended. And it's not gone too bad. We came first in the Premier League. And uh, we ended up getting runners-up in the FA Cup as well. So a really good fourth season. And now we move into season number five. And as you can see, looking pretty good. Mudrik there, 86 rated, doing really well. 26-year-old from Ukraine and uh, 41 goals in total so far for Chelsea in this career mode. Now, currently sitting in a Champions League group with Inter, Marseille and Rangers. Can we top that group? We'll have to wait and see. Here we are in January now, about to see where we're looking at the moment. No goals and no assists so far, but we have gone up to an 88 rated. No change in goals or assists. That's ridiculous. After 26 appearances, getting nothing, but we did go up two stat points to 88. We're approaching 90. Can we get to 90 before the end of this career mode? Sitting in fifth in the table come January was not as good as Premier League winners were last season. We need to improve on that. The Carabao Cup here got missed out on, and the round 16 of the Champions League. We ended up finish, finishing second in the league, so we still have a second in the groups. So we still have a chance there in the Champions League by the end of the season. And here we are, one game to go in the Premier League. We end up finishing in the top four so it's not too bad we don't top it this time though but we do have champions league football once again next season after finishing third in the league the winners of the carabao cup manchester united and we didn't even make the fa cup this season either and the champions league finalists roma and leverkusen so no luck here for chelsea this season whatsoever nine goals and three assists for mudrick so far this season and is going to end up with a career goals of 50 at the end of this one but he does get that 88 rated overall which is pretty nice to see. Hopefully we can improve on that as we head on into the next season. Finishing third here in the league. Round three, round three, and the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So not the best season, but we finished third. So it means season six is back in the Champions League once again. We're into January already here in season six, and we're looking top of the table. We're looking strong. We haven't lost a single game in the league. Can this be another title winning season for Chelsea and for Mudrik? The semifinals of the Carabao Cup is not meant to be for Chelsea. We don't quite make it, and the Champions League. We end up getting in against Bayern Munich here in the round of 16. So hopefully after topping our group, we can push on through into the knockouts with a bit of strength and uh, coming towards the end of this uh, middle of the season now in January. It's it's not been bad. 11 goals and six assists so far this season. So the numbers are going up. 61 goals scored in total for this career mode. 88 still is our overall rating. 27-year-old Mudrik here looking to get more goals. And we are into the final league game of the season. You can see here we are one point clear of Arsenal. If we can win our final game against Sheffield United, we will win the Premier League once again. Now, we didn't make the FA Cup this season and we didn't make the Champions League either. So hopefully we can win the league because that is going to be at least one thing to take home. Our stats didn't go up at all this season, but we did end up finishing with 18 goals and 11 assists before that final game, which we're about to get underway with now. 
with an 88 overall and a 28 year old Mudrick not going anywhere past 88 at the moment quite interesting to see and still no signs of a Ballon d'Or for him unfortunately I don't know if it's going to happen Meduke there getting a 90 rated as well as we head on into this final Premier League game of the season against Sheffield United at Bremel Lane we win this or even probably a draw as long as Liverpool don't get a win we should win the Premier League but I feel like we've got this game in hand and Konku there taking the first shot and scoring the first goal in this one going 1-0 up nice and easily it's not exactly a hard last game of the season 71st minute in now cross to the back post there for Mudrik who gets a really really nice assist for Maduke who scores the goal at the back post with a really nice header and we are pushing through well our dominance here the league leaders once again and Kunku clean through after a great ball from Mudrik is he going to slot this one in the back of the net yes he is it's in it is 3-0 in this game in the 86th minute but Chelsea aren't done here and we have one final chance from this free kick and Kunku putting it in the uh, the Sheffield defenders don't know what to do with it and one of our defenders actually gets a goal for himself as well and we end up winning this game 4-0 and we have won the Premier League once again for the second time in Mudrik's career he's gone and grabbed himself the Premier League title and this Chelsea team really doing some great stuff here in this season now another Premier League title added to his trophy cabinet as well as an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup but still no European trophies whatsoever we've made it through pretty well to the round of 16 in the Champions League and we will get another chance here in season seven in the champions league we didn't win the fa community shield once again we keep seeing to be, to be able to lose that one and we have got leverkusen uh osasuna and aek athens in our champions league group this season now heading into january we're sitting um sixth in the table which isn't too bad but it's definitely not where we want to be sitting after winning it last year the carabao cup we've been knocked out and as for the round of 16 we have got a chance there in the champions league this season after topping our group once again so we're going to be bringing ourselves to the end of the season very soon we're here into the the 1st of January 2030 we've scored 12 goals so far this season and got three assists as well still sitting at 88 rated and I don't think that's going to be going up coming into the final few seasons here at Mudrick's eight-year contract at Chelsea and uh, you can see we've arrived now the 26th of May the final game of the season and we ended up pushing up to second place in the league after being sick but Manchester City have won the league this season they are miles ahead on points and they look like they might be winning the FA Cup as well here against Crystal Palace Arsenal did win the Carabao Cup and the final of the Champions League goes between Manchester City and Milan so no chance for Chelsea whatsoever or Mudrik and Mudrik finishes the season here with 19 goals and 7 assists that's not a bad goal tally 13 in the Premier League currently sitting on 87 goals in total which is a really huge amount of goals and still sitting on an 88 rated now we're coming to our final season guys our eighth season here with Chelsea second place in the league runners up of the Community Shield, can we get a European title or the Ballon d'Or in his final season? Another L here in the Community Shield, unable to beat Manchester City, and our group in the Champions League consists of Real Madrid, Salzburg, and FC Mid. They're going to be coming up, and uh, hopefully we can do well against them. we got the calendar now sitting in January, which means we progressed on through half of the season. We're sitting third in the league table. We've only three points behind, but surprisingly, West Ham are top, and if they manage to win it this season, that'll be a bit of a shock. The the uh, Carabao Cup is a no-go for Chelsea once again. We just cannot be consistent enough. But we do make the round of 16 here in the Champions League against Milan. After topping our group, even with Madrid in the groups, we've done really well there with our four wins. And this season is about to be finished up here now, guys. We're into January, and uh, Madrid's got seven goals and four assists in the league. So, uh, in all competitions so far this season, he's not going past an 88 overall by the looks of it. I think that is his final number. Even if he has a huge potential, he's not going past 88 and I don't think he's going to be winning a Ballon d'Or. He just hasn't been strong enough. Now, we are into the very final game of the Premier League season. Is it going to be worth playing? No, we are finishing third in the league this season. West Ham actually ended up winning it on goal difference. Can you believe it? The finals of the FA Cup go between Manchester City and uh, the final of the uh, Champions League as well is a no-go for Chelsea. So, no European glory here for Chelsea we ended up getting knocked out there by Inter in the quarterfinals so we've never made it past the quarterfinals and guys that's it 
This is the end of Mudrik's career. He's made another 10 goals this season, getting four assists, a total of 97 goals in his Chelsea career with 53 assists. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. He never got past 88 rated, and uh, it's been really good to watch. We got two Premier League titles. We got an FA Cup and a Carabao Cup. We did lose an FA Cup final, but we didn't make it anywhere in Europe with Mudrik, unfortunately. That is it for me for this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give us a like, share, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys all in future videos. Please make sure you leave a comment as well and i'll see you guys all later peace